Hello everybody, how's it going to another video? Today, I'm bringing you some more Infinite Warfare gameplay, and what we're going to be talking about today is my honest opinions on the game. So, if you guys have not played the beta or played at all in Infinite Warfare, then you might learn something here in this video, especially if you're someone that loves to play Call of Duty. If you're someone that likes to play Battlefield 1 or Battlefield in general, this video is probably not going to really pertain to you, but it's still interesting. So, right off the bat, I'm not one to completely bash a game, especially when it's been three years in the making. But this game is not one that I'm going to like. I can already see it. Black Ops 3 was cool for like the first four or five months maybe and then I got so bored of it literally after I got the Dark Matter camo I had no reason to play the game anymore and it just became so so boring to me but with Infinite Warfare there's new classes like these guns are insane they're, they're like crazy this hybrid gun that I'm using right now in the game it's an AR and a sniper which that doesn't really make sense if a sniper can take you out and one bullet why would it take an AR like five shots that, that, that just doesn't make sense to me you're not switching ammo or anything so I don't know but regardless the idea behind it is really cool I love hybrid guns I liked it in Ghost I love hybrid guns but something that I don't like I do not like the movement it feels way too much like Black Ops 3 it's already boring to me I played the beta and I probably got about a total of 10 matches played on the beta. And I was already bored. I already wanted to go play Battlefield 1 or play something else. Like, I've never been so bored of a Call of Duty so fast. It's never happened to me. So, I don't know if I'm going to play it that much at all, if any. I am excited for the campaign. The campaign looks amazing. When I mean, I know it's kind of like futuristic and all and you're gonna be like flying and stuff with a ship and everything but I think that seems cool that stuff being that futuristic that can stay in the campaign I have no problem with the campaign being futuristic the problem I have is the multiplayer once the multiplayer starts getting to where people are flying around and stuff it's not Call of Duty anymore it's freaking I don't know it's Titanfall and all these other games and whatever that crappy version of game that Halo that's what it's called Halo and I'm not an Xbox player so I wouldn't even like that game to begin with but the game all around just does not feel like Call of Duty to me so a good thing I like that they're trying something like I guess you could say new uh ish it's like a carbon copy of Black Ops 3 Th this is not a good thing this is a bad thing especially since we're already bored of Black Ops 3 because we've been playing it for a year we want something new and fresh but we don't want more futuristic if that makes sense which I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that so I like most of the guns in this game the guns themselves like they're alright but I'm having some trouble with some of the grenades the grenade that I'm using in this video is a spider grenade or something like that basically the idea behind it is you throw the grenade and for a few seconds it will chase down an enemy if there's one nearby but it doesn't work I don't know if it's just the beta like being the beta or if this is how it's gonna be in the actual game I threw it into a crowd of people and it just sat there they ran away and it did not move it it might have shot up in the air a little bit like not off the ground like just stood up but it never moved and then it just exploded it did nothing I I think I got two kills with it the entire time I played and I used it every game and only I think two kills is when it actually got up and chased down an enemy and the the fuse time on it's a little low but hey it's already gonna be OP like you don't want it to be too overpowered because then everyone would use it because it's gonna literally get a free kill for you it's gonna chase someone down for you and to be honest you could probably chase have him or you could actually follow it after you throw it and that just wouldn't be any good either but this game also has some bad things too um, one of the bad things being I hate the maps already there's only one map that I like and it's not this one the map that I like is the newer one of the beta like the one that they added which that one is okay but 
every other one of these maps just seem to be too small and I hate maps that are too small Nuketown and firing range stuff like that they were done well but these maps were almost done lazy it seems like no matter where you are on the map you always have to watch your back no matter where you could be in your spawn and they could be there in like five seconds after you spawn so you always have to watch your back on any of these maps and it's crazy but the way I felt best to play is as soon as I get a kill to turn right back around because I feel like I'm gonna get killed so that'd be the way I would do it but I mean like, like there's a lot of bad things about this game I could go on for a long time but camos too they seem a little bland to me if if you know what I'm saying like you know them campaigns in Black Ops 3 where you did the the uh, the, 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 the if you played the campaign and got those camos for your weapon those camos even though I mean you pr you probably should play the campaign anyway they were really really boring looking like they were basic camos I mean I don't want too outrageous but these are really boring like half of them I can barely tell there's a color change which I think I actually show you in this clip some of the different camos now the ones that you can get out of the supply drops or whatever they're called in this game they look pretty good I'm not even gonna lie they look pretty cool but the normal ones that you have to unlock with headshots and stuff I don't even want to go for especially since I have no idea if there's gonna be a gold camo or anything like that now classic guns they're gonna be amazing I can't wait to use them I'm gonna actually be playing with them I can tell because there's a couple guns in this game that really like sp that are a lot better than others but for the most part I always feel like I'm using about the same gun and that's not something I'm really looking forward to I feel like it's gonna get boring really fast and this Karma 45 actually for me feels a lot like using the vector from Call of Duty Ghost which a lot of people had problems with that gun but it seems to be a little toned down in this one so I'm not gonna make a big deal about it so now that we've talked about some good and bad things my overall opinion of this game should you buy it should you get remastered what should you do my honest opinion on this one is I think this game is very poorly made I feel like the graphics should have been a lot better I feel like everything could have been better almost they did a few things right but they did a lot bad I think this game's like I'm not one to bash especially not when it's taken three years but I think this game is garbage I do not like it one bit and it's boring bland whatever you want to call it I just don't like it and uh, I feel like it's like I said earlier carbon copy of Black Ops 3 so it's already boring to me and you know that's never fun to get bored of a game especially just off the beta would I buy this game I already bought it <laughs> that's the thing I already bought it I wanted to get Modern Warfare Remastered I walked into the GameStop pre-ordered the game so I could get it and then they were like well if you pay it off now you can play the campaign for Modern Warfare Remastered and I was like well heck why wouldn't I do that let's go so I ended up getting Modern Warfare Remastered and I played the campaign of it I had a blast doing that the only reason I could see getting it right now Infinite Warfare is so that way you could play Modern Warfare Remastered as of right now this game is not something I would play so if you're wanting to get just Modern Warfare Remastered and that's the only reason you're buying Infinite Warfare do not buy Infinite Warfare let them let Infinity Ward Activision whoever is making this game let them know how you feel about the game if you want to you could almost boycott this thing I'm not really saying to do it but I wouldn't buy this game just cause just cause you can get remastered they're more than likely going to have to sell remastered by around Christmas time one because I don't think the sales for this game are gonna be all that great and even if they are they're still gonna try to make some more money off of it towards the Christmas or towards Christmas time so they're gonna sell Modern Warfare Remastered by itself and it's probably gonna be cheaper or it's probably gonna be around 40 bucks I would say to start off which talking about Modern Warfare Remastered that's a completely different video I will going to go ahead and wrap this video up if you guys did enjoy please leave a like if you have different opinions about the game leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to read through them and uh, see what y'all are thinking about the game yourselves 
Anyway, this has been Hazard, and I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.